green and black letters on a white background. Zero Project Awardee 2021 Uganda World Vision Inclusive Livelihood Providing income generating activities to refugees with disabilities What is Inclusive Livelihood for Refugees about? Edward Winter, Senior Technical Advisor for Social Inclusion Well, really essential has been the role of persons with disabilities in helping World Vision to really identify some of the challenges around water and livelihoods and really helping us to bring together those two elements and really helping us to address change at systemic levels so that persons with disabilities are a key part of decisions that are made on livelihoods and wash issues. What is unique and innovative about inclusive livelihood for refugees? A woman is sitting on a chair knitting. The triggers for this work were the context in Uganda, in a context where South Sudanese refugees are living in communities but lack the water and livelihoods opportunities to really exploit the position that they're in. So really the program team on the ground really identified ways in which they could work to really support those people with disabilities in accessing water and the livelihoods in a way that was meaningful and could provide long-term change for them. How did this solution change your life? Alice Apai, South Sudanese refugee. We started growing vegetables, which have helped to provide food and income. We were also given a grinding mill as a group to create income. I was also given three goats, one male and two females. They have now multiplied to eight. This year we have been trained to knit clothes and other source of income. Festo Moga, South Sudanese refugee. They also gave us wash facilities like water cans. They have given us skills for making shoes. And I'm sure when I settle properly in the future, I will gain something from this knowledge given by World Vision. How does inclusive livelihood for refugees work? Goats running across the meadow. Edward Winter. The financing of this program was initially provided by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Finland and has been for uh, three or four years. So going forward, what we're really looking at is utilizing our private money to extend this to development sectors and also to integrate it into proposals focused on refugee populations in other parts of the world from uh, government funders. What is next for inclusive livelihood for refugees? We are excited to be able to expand this to our work in refugee camps in, in other areas like Rwanda and Burundi, but also into our development programming where we have private money that we can use to implement it. Disability Inclusive Livelihood and Protection Project.